Uh, welcome to the Fight Force is a podcast. I'm here in Elam, California with my cousin Mike Brown. How you doing, Mike? I am doing amazing, man. How are you? Good, man. So, you know, we just got done uh, with the ceremony weekend and went to go over the um, the nonprofit that you started here in Elam. Yeah, so we started, um, so not sure if anybody is uh, aware, but our reservation out here in um, Lake County, California is right next to a mercury mine. It's an old mercury mine. It's now a super fun site. Um, so EPA finally decided that they are going to clean it. Um, it's been on, they have an, it's called an NPL, which is a national priorities list. And that is a super fun site for toxic waste. And it's been on that list since 1990. So, uh, they decided to clean it up and for us to get out there and help with the work, um, we started a nonprofit and with that nonprofit, uh, Buckeye Tribal Visions, and with yes. that nonprofit, we um, we support them with tribal monitors. And and you know the crazy thing that we always say is that you know we've been out here so long in all this toxic area, and now that and now you know 1990, and now today they're finally starting to clean up. Right. Yeah. And 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 we're some of the last ones that actually played in the mine. We yeah. had fun out there. Um, so it's interesting to see how toxic it is, and we were breathing that air for all these years and not even know yeah and then swimming in the water yeah exactly yeah yeah <laughs> and, and 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 not you know and um not to say we made friends you yeah. know jump in the water and yeah. you know hey yeah go ahead let, let, let's see what happens you know? <laughs> and that's the thing like you know when we come in like of all reservations this is the only one i know that when i come in there's a sulfur bank uh you know warning sign there right, right in front of the right. reservation right as soon as you come in you have that um that egg smell and yeah that smell is apparently they say it's not good for you but you know that's when we know we're home so we can yeah. travel four hours and we'll be sleeping and as soon as we smell that um we know we're home yeah and so we it's just it's unfortunate that we're so used to it mm -hmm. um so now that the epa and ea has come in and as well as well as some archaeologists to test the soil um, yeah, we're starting to understand more of what we've been through and what not only us, but our parents and our grandparents as well. Yeah. Because, um, my two dick, like our great grandfathers, I mean, their uh, average age of living was like eighties and then they hit our parents where it only went to like seventies. Right. Right. You know, and it's cause of the toxic, you know, it could get lower and lower every, right. every decade. So, right. Yeah. Just breathing in, in and understanding the impact and the effects of all of the toxicity out there. Mm -hmm. um, now we understand we had a 40-hour Hazwapper training. And so the two trainers that came and explained everything that's going on, and we look at each other like, damn, that's that's what Uncle had. Or that's, <laughs> yeah. what, my, you know, or that's what Auntie <laughs> yeah. had, you know? Right. And it's funny because, so I mean, it's not funny. It, it, when I say funny, it's not ha-ha funny, not humor funny, but yeah. it's, just, it's just the way that we are. But we were laughing because... There's a thing that one of the trainers said, um, he said, if when you're around mercury enough, and that's what's it's out here, it's a mercury mine. He said, if you are around it enough and you inhaled it enough, then you get mercury madness. Damn. Yeah. So we're like, oh, that explains that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember oh, that one night? Yeah. Now I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember that one night? Yeah, yeah. Remember when you going off? Yeah. yeah. You walked in and you was all mad and pissed off. <laughs> mercury madness hit you that night. Damn, man. That's, that's crazy. And then everything here is, I mean, like, the water, and then like my dad said, they used to go out there and play in that puddle out there. Yeah, yeah. And they used to, the bus used to come through there. Oh, yeah. I mean, just, I mean, all that. I was like, damn, man. And then they talk about it, how toxic everything is. I'm like, oh, holy yeah. moly. Yeah. How are we still here? Yeah. So my dad used to always talk about when he lived, when um, grandma and grandpa lived in the city, mm -hmm. um, he, he had to stay here with all the people that were still here. And when he went and caught the bus in the mine, he said the mine was dusty. And so being out there now working, um, yeah, it's true. There are a couple areas where it is dusty and shoot, just breathing in that stuff, man. It's like, yeah. I, I don't smoke cigarettes, but it's like, man, it's like, you yeah. know, hurts my lungs. And they had to tell you, they tell you to wear all that stuff now, right? When you're yes, out there. yes, yes. There's a certain level. If, if you have, um, they have air monitors. So if their air monitors go off that you have to wear a respirator right now, we're not wearing respirators, um, because they're not doing a lot of drilling, but when they do soil sampling, um, we can just go out there and watch. 
But when they do drill and they get to a certain depth, then yeah, they got, they want you to have a respirator. And how long do they say that they're going to try? I mean, how long does it take to clean up this area? So what they're doing right now is they're doing a pre-design phase. So once they get a pre-design phase, they will get a complete plan and they want to start the complete plan in 2025. And they said from 2025 to 2030 is their um, time frame of trying to get that cleaned up out there. Okay. Now them cleaning up, and us cleaning up are two different things. You right. know, for us, it's like, okay, we'll just go in there and just take out all the crap. Yeah. Just take it wherever, you know, but they have laws. Okay, we can't take this hazardous waste across this county or this, across this state line. So there's so many environmental laws that they have. Um, and unfortunately that we don't know. Yeah. So we just have to, we just have to be like, oh, okay. You mm -hmm. know? And so the more questions we asked all of the companies out here, the more that they tell us. So hopefully... Um, we can get it cleaned up as best as possible and get a lot of the hazardous waste because when you drive into the resin, you know, yeah. right there on the corner, I mean, that whole hill, that's all, that's all waste. That's yeah. all hazardous waste. You it's know, just the, sitting there. Yeah. It's just sitting there. It, 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 it was never there before. Mm -hmm. The whole area was flat. And when they started digging, they just, at first they started putting the soil into the lake. Yeah. And then once they started, they were like, oh crap, we can't start doing that. So then they started putting it by the road. And so that's how high it is. But all they're going to try to do is they're not trying to take all of that out. What they want to do is they're trying to get hazardous waste on hazardous waste, and they're going to cap it and call it a day. And how long do they say that's going to take? They That's supposed to take five years, but then once they cap it, they say that nobody can be on there for 10 to 12 hours a, a month. So you can only be out there like certain times and come back. Right, yeah. So 10 to 12 hours a month, what that's what a couple hours a week. Yeah. You know, God, dang. so, and, 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 and that's, that's their design right now. Um, that's the pre pre-design. So right now they're doing all the testing. So when the full design comes through, um, then we'll know more. So the work that they're doing now should be ending at the end of October. And so we should be getting all the reports from then. And then in 2024, they should develop the plan. And in 2025, um, they should be out here working. And and that's what I was like in Arizona. I was talking about how toxic um, the tailings are, right? I think it was called. And then like here, they build all the you get all the homes on those tailings, right? Absolutely, they, yeah. So absolutely. And yeah, I think your house was one of them. That's why you have oh, a absolutely. different house. Absolutely, yeah. So originally, everybody was on the island, mm -hmm. and then they said, "Hey, we're going to build the res." And so the res was built with the toxic waste. Mm -hmm. um, so it was placed on the ground and we have you know our grandparents you know we have we have pictures of yeah. you know our dads you know playing in it you yeah know, like cool you know we get new houses. yeah 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 <laughs> so they they built the res with all the toxic dirt and then once they moved everybody to the res then of course they you know they cut the peninsula from the you know the island and made it an island mm -hmm. but yeah so ever since then i think this is going to be the third or fourth soil that you know they've replaced mm -hmm. you know 06 was the last one and that was a debacle and so now they're coming back and they're trying they're trying to do better but um yeah we're not we're really not letting them get away with more because now we actually know the law yeah and now the law is more on the indigenous side instead of just going in and like okay yeah you can do whatever you want to do but now we're like no nah, you can't do that yeah you know we're not gonna let you do that you know we, mm -hmm. we know the law now and the government, of course, they're, they're, it, the government has a thing where, okay, they have to contact you. Okay, so I'm going to call you. If you don't answer, you know what? I try to contact it. Yeah. And that's it. That checks their box, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, hey, we tried to contact them. We couldn't get So we're just going to go ahead with what we're going to do. But out here, they had community meetings. And so we went to all the meetings. And mm -hmm. we're like, no, you can't, you can't fucking do that. There's yeah. no way. You, no, you're not going to do that. Well, this, no, we're not going to do that. So it was funny. We went and we watched their PowerPoint presentations and they're like, okay, we talked to um, residential members of, you know, Elam. We're like, well, who'd you talk to? Um, members. Who? There's only like 20 of us out there. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> who exactly did you speak with? And, yeah. they, and they couldn't say who they did. They say, okay, if you can't tell us who that is right there, you got to take that off your PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. You know? And so we did that with a with lot of slides and we switched everything up. Because, you know, they were coming in and they were just deciding, all right, we're going to do what we're going to do. Nobody shows up to these meetings, but we showed up and we were present and we told them how we felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm a child member 
if they ask me about here, I'm like, ask Mike. I, I'm not, I don't exactly. live on the res. Exactly. Yeah, so. yeah. We're here. We're in it. We yeah. know exactly what's going on. Um, and it's funny. I'm supposed to be a liaison, but, you know, those guys didn't give me a paycheck yet. So, you know what? <laughs> you know? But, yeah. yeah so, we're, we're, we're in it. We have the monitors that we provide uh, for the workout there are all community monitors. They live on the reservation. Mm-hmm. So, everybody knows what's going on because they're actually working out there. Yeah. And so we ask all our monitors to go out there and ask questions. You know, if you have, if you have a question, ask them because they're right there. Um, it's easier to ask them instead of asking me, then I'll have to ask them to talk to you. You're already out there. So just yeah. ask them. So we have daily reports that they re- return to me. And, and it's, and it's, it's funny to see when we first start, it's like a little bit of information. Now it's more information that's picking up. So hopefully everybody's starting to understand, um, what's going on out there. Yeah. And what made you want to start one like this? Well, with this is we, um, as you know, the, the tribe and us, it, there's a disconnect. Yes. So with that disconnect, it's like, okay, you can either just sit there and go, crap, they're not going to do anything. Yeah. But, you know, this and you just be like, oh, it's never this. And you can just sit there and complain about it. Or just, you can go the other way and be like, you know what? We're going to do, do something. something about it. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we decided to do. Um if you know nobody knows but my, my, you know my dad your uncle you know yeah. passed in 2020 and i came back and it was never the plan to be back here but yeah i came back and then this was presented and i'm like you know what let's go with it um i have the background with uh, nonprofits. i have the background with you know financial stuff and so i was just in the right place at the right time and then we we ran with it and our biggest thing was the community is getting no funds yeah. So our biggest thing was, hey, let's let's try to get funds inside the community. Right. So if we can get grants to get in here, but you know what's even better? Let's get jobs. Yeah. Let's get jobs. Let's get make people go out there and earn the money, and so they know, hey, I have to go up and show, um, I have to show up to get paid. Yeah. Instead of just getting paid, because a lot of the times people get lazy by just getting paid all the time. Yeah. Know? Not doing nothing, getting paid. No, you know what? We'll pay you, but you got to go out there and work, and you yeah. got to let us know what they're doing. You know. Um, Talk to us, tell us what they're doing out there because not only is it helping us, but it's helping you understand what they're doing. Yeah, and it's good for the community members here. I mean, tribe members here who live here because it's more. I mean, I care, but you guys live here every day. Oh, you know absolutely, what I mean? so. absolutely, man. Payday is hella fun. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's nice to each other. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's waving at each other. You know. Yeah. But it, it it's just good to see it, and, and especially the. You know, we're getting older. Let's 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 be you know, let's yeah. be real. You and I are getting older, you know, yeah. and so it's good to see the younger generation that, um, you know, mid to late twenties, you know, early thirties that are starting, you know, that are starting their families, and they're like, damn, okay, now I have a kid. Now it's just not all about me anymore. Yeah, you know, now I have to look beyond me. Okay, I I got to support this little dude, and so to give them a paycheck, and some of I mean, and some of the younger ones out here, it's like, okay, um. Because once we have them fill out paperwork, you know, do you want, when we get paid, do you want me to direct deposit it? Yeah. They're like, uncle, I don't have a bank account. Yeah. Like, what do you mean you don't have a bank account? You know? Oh, I I, I, I don't know. Well, when's the last job? Oh, uncle, I've never had a job. Like, yeah. what do you mean you never had a job? You know? So it's kind of cool to offer, you know, our, you know, nieces and nephews their first job and show them, you know, the process. Okay, this yeah. is this is a paycheck. You know, you get a bank account. We can put, put directly into your bank or you, you can have a check, you know. And so it, it's kind of cool in that way, too. And just to see the smiles um, on the faces of offering them a job and getting them a bank account and, you know, them knowing that, hey, I can I can make I can do this. You know, yeah. I can make money, you know. Right. And so, and that, and that's, that's one of the major things about it is them understanding, okay, um, I don't got to rely on somebody else. I can actually do this myself. Yeah. And that's what you were saying earlier. Remember you were saying, uh, telling these guys that, Hey, remember I'm not, there's no taxes taken out of there. You better, oh, yeah. you better put some money aside for oh, your yeah. income tax, you know, yeah. because, because we're not hiring as employees. So they're yeah. not an employee. So they're not yeah. W2, you know, so I'm not taking any taxes for state and all that stuff there. Yeah. You know, we're, I told them you're the company of you. Yeah. You know, you're the company, you're the CEO, you're, you're whatever. We're hiring you. So we're going to throw you all the money. And so you better put like 20 to 30% of that away. Yeah. You know, and if they do, <laughs> you know, if they do, they do, you know, I cross my fingers and I hope that they do. But, but that's, that, that would be a learning experience as well. They could be like, oh man, he told me to do it and I didn't do it. Now I, I owe yeah. this, you know? Yeah. Cause some of these k- kids are going to go outside the reservation and is going to learn how to, you know, 
pay income tax oh, and, absolutely. You know, oh, and absolutely. file and stuff like that. So it's good for them to learn that here. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, the biggest thing too, with, you know, with a lot of native communities out there, it's just finances. You yeah. Know, nobody knows how to manage their money. Right. You know, and you and I know how to manage it, but shoot, what's it been like 30 years where we <laughs> yeah. figured it out, you know, <laughs> shoot, when we were young, you know, you get 500 bucks, I fight, you know, you yeah. already paid, you know, Hey, you're going to give you 500 on Friday. Shoot by, you know, yeah. Just, it's already you're already spending like a thousand bucks you know like dang i'm, I'm already under that's why i said remember i was like just because i'm up there on my truck payments doesn't yeah mean rich. <laughs> exactly i know yeah just because i just because i can plan ahead you know but yeah and that's that's what it is it's just uh it's experience you yeah. know and we we had to go through the trials and tribulations to understand what what the heck is going on you know with, with finances yeah and now and i always tell everybody you know what I said, I've been through all that, you know, I've had yeah. the nice houses and nice cars and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and it kind of sucked, you know? Yeah. But I would rather, you know, I told her, but I'd rather have, you know, uh, no car and 50,000 in the bank than a $50,000 car or no money in the bank, you know, yeah. because it's no fun having a nice car and you can't even put gas in it, mm-hmm. especially now, like seven bucks a gallon. Pff, yeah. You know, nobody's driving nowhere no more. Yeah. Cause on the city, you, know, you, you, you pay mortgage, and then you pay a homeowner, home, homeowner association, and then you, you know, you just so many things to figure oh, out there. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you gotta teach these kids here, you know, like what they can do here. You know, if they want to stay. Right, and it's and it's basic, basic stuff out here. Just get a get a checking account. Yeah. You know, just get established. You know, and if you want to establish your credit, just get like a gas card. Yeah. You know, who cares if it's you know twenty percent? You know, just don't put don't get for $500 or whatever and just keep paying it and just build your credit. Yeah. You know, because I worked in the banking industry and it's all about credit. Yeah. You know, they don't care if you have millions of dollars. If you got a crappy credit score, then psh, they ain't, they ain't going to give you anything. Cause the auto insurance, they go by credit score now too. Oh, do they? Yeah. So if you got a bad credit score, your insurance going to be high. Your car insurance going to be high. So I haven't had a car insurance. In <laughs> <laughs> What's car insurance? I don't know, what is that? Are you taking insurance for that? Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, so it's good for them to uh, work, like you were saying. And, you know, you were talking about doing reports and writing and all this stuff. So it's also going to be important for them to finish school, you know, and do stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And and, and with this job is, is we got put right in. And so we just we pretty much jumped in, you know, full bore. We're like, you know, let's do this instead of going, OK, what about this? What about this? What about that? You know, we're just like, all right, we're in. And then we figured it out from there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we jumped in and pretty much jumped in the water and pretty much learned how to swim on the way. Yeah. And so that's, that's just what it had to be. But eventually down the line, it's, it's going to be, um, like outside where a job is posted. You have to apply for the job. You have to interview for the job. Yeah. And so eventually they, they will see that too. Mm-hmm. And with this is what I'm going to do with every, all the monitors working right now is I have their information so I can start a resume for them. Yeah. You know, I have their name, I have their numbers, I can put there and I can go, hey, like, here's your start, here's the start, you, you know, travel monitor, um, and you, and you did this, Yeah. you know, and so what, it, what, at first what I was doing, I was like, okay, well, I'll just put travel monitor, and then I kind of want to see what they'll put, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. You know, I have my, I know what they do, but I want to kind of see what they do, and then yeah. I, I, I can help them out with that, but I mean, even with that, it's, travel monitoring, it, it's not always going to be there for everybody yeah you know it's people think that you, it's, it's just and the unfortunate thing was about travel monitoring is most companies think that you're just there to stand around yeah because that's what a lot of travel monitors do yeah you know so it's, right. it's, it's unfortunate and people are like, oh monitoring's easy man you just stand there well that's it gives us a bad name yeah you it know does. it's yeah. like you know and it's just like you know, like you and I now we're we're three point shooters. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, they just shoot three pointers. Yeah. No, we don't, man. We, yeah. We play defense like twice. <laughs> yeah. I get like two rebounds. You know. Get in there sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's like okay, we're you know they just stand around, and so that's why we tell our monitors, hey, listen, you need to get in there. If they're sifting soil, get in there and sift the soil. Mm-hmm. You know, ask what they're looking for. Um, we will have training to to get monitors more up to date. But like I said, right now we just we just jumped in, and we are working with some amazing archaeologists right now. Right, um, and they are helping with everything. They're super nice. Um, they they know what the heck they're looking for, and and it's helping not only us that oversees everything, but the monitors out there, and it helps them understand what they're looking at. Mm-hmm. And then, like I always tell everybody, 
I think in them right here in Lake County is the I always say like um, in, in Arizona, a lot of tribes are not sitting on tribal land. Right. A lot of tribes are sitting on reservation that they were put on there, you know, uh, like a prison camp. Right. So Elam here has never moved. I mean, I, I, I don't know how many years we've we've been here on this own land. Right. So like for them to dig up stuff like that, I mean, how many arrowheads you find and how many obsidian things you find out here? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. So we know, so we have cultural sites that that we know within our within the tribe. Yeah. That archaeologists and everybody outside don't know. Right. You know. And so they always ask, "Can we get a hold of your maps?" No, you can't. No. You know, that's that's yeah. that's not any of your business. And so what's really good about here, so actually what was really bad about 06 is they just kind of just did their own thing. Yeah. You know. They didn't listen to tribal government, they listened to tribal monitors, they didn't do anything, they just did their own thing. So when we started this, that we brought that up, you know, it's like, it's not going to be like that shit in 06. Yeah. So, you know, and I had a conversation last week with, um, EA. So they're the ones out here and I was speaking with the site manager and I said, listen, this is for you guys. It's, it's just another thing on your resume, you know? So yeah, we were out there for the super fun site at Elam and we got it done Right. for us. It's our legacy, Mm -hmm. you know, it's our legacy. So we're here, we started this, so it's our legacy. When we're buried out there in the cemetery and our uh, grandkids, great-grandkids come through and they look to the left, what are they going to see? Are they going to see that still that big-ass pile of hazardous waste out there? Yeah. Or are they going to see it gone? Are they going to see it half? What are they going to do? Mm-hmm. But when they come in, it's going to be like, okay, my grandpa, my great-grandpa was part of that. Right. And what's that going to be? You know? And so they're starting to understand that, you know, that's like, that's why... We're not letting fucking anything, you know, it's like, it, no, you can't do that. You cannot do that at all. Mm-hmm. And so they're really understanding about that now because of 06. Okay. Yeah. And so, I mean, I mean, that's a good thing. And and of course it's different people, you know? Yeah. So back then, I mean, that's a, a long time ago and those people are gone and these are only people. Yeah. So they're just trying to, um, I mean, these. I mean, you get different EPA every decade. Seem like it. Oh and yeah. Now this EPA is coming out. Maybe they're a little bit different. You know. Oh, yeah. So hopefully things get better with them. Well, the greatest thing. Well, the funniest thing was uh, Uncle Jim. You know, he would come in because um, he would come in to the community meetings and he would just cuss them out. Mm-hmm. You know, because that's what he was telling them how he felt, and he told them, you know, you're like the fourth or fifth group that I've had to deal with. Yeah. And so we would let him do his thing and then he would leave and we're like, that's what we're trying to avoid. We don't want to be like that. Right. You know, and he has every right to be like that. Yeah. Because you guys lied and you guys never did anything that you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's like that. You know? Yeah. And so they're like, oh, yeah, we're so sorry. And so and I think the biggest thing out here, too, is with the EPA is is their government and they're going to freaking lie. You know, they're politicians. And so out here. You know, we're used to the oral tradition. So you tell me a story. Yeah. I need to listen to what you're telling me so I can tell somebody else. Right. So when they say something to us and then they try to change it, we're like, no, no, no. You said that, you know, up up (laughs) in Mish at that meeting, you said that. We heard you say it. No, I didn't. Yes, we did. Yeah. Because we're trained to listen to what you say. Right. You know, and so they're not used to that. And so, and when we walked in, it's funny too, because I walked in and I'm like, you know what? You're cool. Yeah, you're cool. I like you. You know, whatever. I trust you. Whatever. But your company, fuck your company. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like, what? Yeah. And they're like, oh no, we understand that. And I'm like, no, it, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's how it is. And that's just who I am. You know, it, it's not. Some people take it. You know, they take it personal. And but I mean, you know, me. Shit, mm-hmm. You know, that's just who I am. And yeah. like, if I talk to you like that, you're like, yeah. Somebody might go, wow, what's he saying to you? You're like, that's yeah. just who he is, man. You know, that's just that's just how he speaks. That's just you know how how it comes out. Yeah, you know, an EPA, you know, it's the Environmental Protection Agency, but they're more just a cleanup crew after the fe- after things are over. Like, it, they um, they can't stop a mine from starting, but they're there for the after, for the the cleanup. Absolutely. So, I mean, that's all they're really there for, EPA. Right, that is. And, right. And, and, yeah, and like I mentioned, we were, we, were, we were talking, what, yesterday or maybe today about where you guys are with Oak yeah. Flat, you know, and I was mentioning to the EPA out here, and I'm like, there's a situation where, the end result is here. Yeah. You know, right now it, it's not. And, and it's just, it, 
it has to, there has to be a different way. And, you know, we've also talked about it because out here, um, we're not speaking about, you know, traditional stuff, you know, you're, you're, yeah. you're causing this, you got, you know, it's, it's physical stuff. You know, yeah. you're, you're killing people, right. you know? And so they're not going to, they don't, they don't care if we say, Hey, this is, you know, tradition and they, they really don't care. Yeah. Know? But when you say, Hey, this is killing, you know, kids, this is killing this. And they're like, okay. It, then it, 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 it turns it to something different. Yeah. And so luckily uh, we had ceremony this weekend and on Wednesday I invited um, some of the crew out. And so they, it was a full circle moment for them to see the kids out here uh, dancing on the sidelines and them knowing, okay, that's, that's who we're protecting. Yeah. You know, cause you and I, we're going to get whatever because playing out there. Right. And it is what it is. You know, we, we didn't know any better. Yeah. Our parents didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. You know, EPA really wasn't a thing until like sixties and seventies, you know, shoot, we were born in those times, you know? Yeah. And so we pretty much were growing up together with them. Yeah. But them coming out here and seeing what we do, we are still thriving tradition, culture, mm -hmm. you know, so they do see that. And so for them, it was looking at soil. Now it's more, you know, okay, all right, now that soil has more meaning to them. So right. that was kind of cool, you know. Yeah. I mean, because I was saying like in 1872, that picture of those mining people in that roundhouse in 1872, right? Now it's 2023. We're still in the roundhouse. We're still in the roundhouse. You know? So, I mean, yeah. we, we've, we surpassed all that. Exactly. Stuff. Exactly. But, you know, we're still here, but we still need this mine cleaned up. And like you said, I mean, we we swimming out here when we were kids. I don't know how much you know, that that's going to affect me later. But, you know, as yeah. long as we stop it from the kids today, yeah. you know, it won't be like that. Yeah. And we could blame all that if we want to, you know, I could blame my lazy eye for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, yeah. but, but, but there are things, you know, that, like I said, that the, if anybody has a chance, do a 40 hour in-person has whopper training. Um, not only for the areas that you're in, it's, it's, it's information that I think everybody should know. Yeah. I mean, one of the trainers had, um, he had an example of some toxins that was, I think it was in one, like one of the chicken places, right? They left it out and people died because the mm -hmm. toxin, it, this toxin mixed with, mixed with this and it was the bad and it was in the air and, and people died from it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I think that that in that training is not only good for out here, um, but it, it it's, it's going to be good for any industry. And it's funny though with that, because it's, it's, that's another, you know, I don't want to say it's an EPA thing, but it's it's a, it's an employee thing, you know. So to get hazard pay, so if you go on a hazardous site, you would get hazard pay. But if you have, if you're HazWopper certified, then you don't get HazWopper pay, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so hazard pay, if you got ah. HazWopper training, you don't get hazard pay. So of course out mm. here, yeah. So out here, so they're like everybody needs to be Hazwopper certified, you know. So oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So we don't get has hazard pay, right? No, why? Because you're certified for it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. So hmm. see, there's there's little tricks like that, you know. And hazard pay, that's a good, you know, extra twenty five. Shoot, sometimes twenty five up to fifty five dollars an hour, you know, just yeah. for that. And so you know, but you know. I don't want to say EPA, you know, but you know, that's just, yeah. those are one of the little tricks that they do to you all the time. Right. Well, there's always something, you know, at, at, at the end of it, you know, some kind of thing that works out for them, you know, saying stuff like that. So, yeah. Mean, and then now we have, you know, they're, they're worried about the government shutdown, but I think, you know, they had a resolution until Thanksgiving yeah, now. Days, yeah, said, yeah. 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 So I don't know how that's going to impact us out here um, because EPA does oversee everything. Mm -hmm. um, EA is the contractor, but EPA still oversees everything. So I don't, I'm not sure um, what the impact is going to be out here, but I guess we'll see um, coming up. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And that's like, I was talking to my uncle about, you know, a lot of this stuff is really important, you know, the land, the pollution, everything in our area. So like a lot of things that happen, you know, in our society, I'm not really worried about, I'm more worried about like our land and our culture. Right. You know, I'm not worried about, I mean, yeah, mascot, mascots are messed up, but I'm not worried about that right, right now. Right. You, know, I, you know, that doesn't bother me in my everyday life. This land bothers me in my everyday life. Oh, right. Yeah, so, like, just little things like that, I mean, it's, it's just so important, you know, about pollution and and the land and the water, and it's just, like, something that we have to put up first than, than anything else. Yeah, because, I mean, you think about it, the you can, there's the land is already here. Mm -hmm. There's... <laughs> 
there's not any more land anywhere, you know, unless you're yeah. going go to go out of space, you know. But, <laughs> hey, man, if you guys don't go out of space, then go ahead, you know. Yeah. But right now on Earth, the land is the land. Mm -hmm. So it's not, there's not any more growing. And, and I mean, of course, you can go, oh, well, volcanoes, you know, but all that stuff. But, you know, it, yeah. that's, that's something beyond this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if we don't take care of what we have right now, then, man, we're going to lose it all. You right. know, it's, it's just, we've been, you know, in, in, and it sucks that we are reservations because i mean we know it they're just prisoner of war camps yeah you know right. it's like hey you stay yeah. inside of here then we're not going to yeah. kill you and so and and that's what it is um but yeah so since we were put there i mean we do have to protect it we do it it, it yeah. is ours we have to take ownership of it and as you mentioned here i mean in 06 they found that point that was uh from borax um they dated it 26 000 years ago yeah you know and so that's <laughs> It's yeah. crazy right there, you know, it's right. like going, dang, you know, and so all these other things are out there and they have this and I'm like, okay, you found a point from 26,000. So, you know, that somebody is working on, Yeah. you know, making a weapon. Right. <laughs> you know, so it's like, yeah. you know, and so we, you know, we have the cultures and, and we, and like you said, we still, we had ceremony this weekend. Yeah. You know, so it, it's something in that we were young, that we were in and the kids now, you know, there were a ton of kids up here, you mm -hmm. know. You know, that one night, I'm like, what the heck are you, all you kids doing there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then you think about it, you're like, oh, that's kind of cool to hear. Yeah. But then you're like, get the hell away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like, it's like, it seems like every generation, like, cause, like our, 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 great, our grandfather was in it. Our parents is like, you know, they couldn't practice their name culture. You know, it was a law. Right. And then finally that went away. So they finally got to start it. And then we grew up in it. Right. But then it seems like the kids today are way more oh, yeah. in there than we were. Oh, you yeah. Know, because, I mean, it just keeps going and going. Oh, right. 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 So Yeah. And like we were talking earlier, you know, like our, our boys, you mm -hmm. know, they're way behind in years with some of the boys up here, but they're the same age. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so, it, and, but that's just how it is, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's just the, the amazing part about life, you know? It's yeah. Like, so and when our boys talk to the, the their cousins that are the same age, it's just they're just boys. Yeah, they're know? just happy to see each other. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, but you and I are like, oh, there's this, there's this. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's like you know, the whole you know separation thing. But yeah. you know, but and I think what that is, you know, the world needs your son. Mm -hmm. The world needs my son. Yeah, the world needs these boys up here. Right. You know, everybody feels their role, and, and and that's how it's supposed to be. Within not only just a you know a family thing, but I mean a whole community thing. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we need to we need the cooperation. We need all of that together. Right. We can't have the same you know kids doing the same things. Everybody's right. got to be doing something different. Mm -hmm. It seemed like we had they have a lot more um, availability you know with social media too than we oh, did right. also. So, um, you know, that's something that I think. When you deal with like culture like this and have you know these kids dance and sing, it kind of gets them away from all that stuff too. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, man. Well, first of all, I'm glad we never had social media yeah. back. <laughs> I know, <laughs> man. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, dude, turn it off. Man. <laughs> Don't tag me. I know. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> well, even now, it's it's so funny. Like, you know, we got family and friends. Like, yeah, I'm not here, man. They're like, what? <laughs> yeah, you don't tag me. Don't I? I'm not here, so yeah. don't take no pictures. And you're not tagging me, you know. Yeah. And then I'll. You were in Arizona. Oh, who did that? You know. So, All right. I know. That? I know. Who did it? Like, damn, you know the rules, man. <laughs> you know. But yeah, so I think that it, it it's it's really important for them, you know, to be up here to get off of that stuff because mm -hmm. no electronic devices are, you know, allowed in there. Of course, yeah. you and I take ours in there, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a different subject altogether, yeah, you know, <laughs> but yeah, but it's just, it's, it's important, you know, for them to get that, to understand, Hey, there is something other than that's beyond this. What, what, the media is saying that you should look like or how you should be or mm -hmm. how indigenous or how native you should be. You yeah. know? And it's like, um, no, this is what you should be. You should be here doing this exactly what you're doing right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And, and that's what I was talking about earlier was that, um, you know, like indigenous and Native American, like, you know, I really don't use those terms. You know, I just say, Oh, I'm from here. I'm from there. You yeah. know, I never, I never really use those terms. So, Listen, these kids are like that today too. You know, they're, they're starting to be like that. You know, my 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 kid don't say you know those kind of words. So. Right, right. So it's just something that we're starting now. Yeah, out here, I mean, and you know, it's like 
especially in Lake County, it's like, where are you from? I'm from the E. Everybody knows where that's <laughs> Yeah. Know? Or from Mish, you know? Yeah. It's like, so it, it, it's something that you, that it's just the lingo out here, but somebody that doesn't know you, like, oh, I'm from Big Valley Reservation or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, or, or I'm from, you know, Sulphur Bank Rancheria, you know? But mm-hmm. out here, it's just, yeah, this is where I'm from. You yeah. Know? And so it's not, you know, and most of the time it's out here, it's like, what's up, Jine? You know, yeah. it's something like that. You know, it, it's not yeah. anything. We're not trying to say, yo, we're this or we're that. Mm-hmm. Um, we're not wearing shirts that, you know, have this or that. You yeah. Know? Most of the shirts that we have are all big time shirts that we get for free. Yeah. <laughs> 2021 exactly. shirts. Yeah, 2022 yeah, yeah. shirts. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not, you know, we're not trying to prove to anybody what we are. We just are. Yeah. You know. Well, it used to be back in the day. It used to be softball shirts. Now, it, fast pitch softball shirts. Now it's now it's in and day shirts. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, all big time shirts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, it's good to come down here and see. You know that this thing still goes on, and then you guys uh, starting that uh, nonprofit because, like I said, that's very important to you know to watch the land, and then also being a nonprofit. You know, because a lot of times. When you have like a nonprofit, a lot of people think like, "Oh, how much money does he have?" or, right. you know, "What is he driving?" and stuff like that. Right. You know, nonprofits open book. Hey, you want to come look? Come look. Right. I'll show you where. Yeah, because it's an open book. You know, nonprofit. Right. Yeah. So there's nothing I can. You know, there's nothing you can hide or say. Hey, look, I got me a brand new 2024 GMC. You know, right. electrical vehicle. Right. You're just out here trying to help everybody else. You know. Right, and that's the thing. That's the that's the difference between nonprofit and for profit. Yeah. You know, when if we're for profit, you. you no, you don't need to say any of that. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't care, you know? Yeah. But now it's like, okay, well, this is what we make and this is how much we put out. And so you kind of do the math, you know? Yeah. If we make a hundred bucks and we pay two people $50, you no, know, there's, guess how much is left? Zero. You yeah. Know? And so we're just trying to put money out there, trying to get it in the community. But the good thing about that too is not knowing, um, but like the kids, like they'll come over, hey, how's work, uncle? You know, yeah. like, hey, what is this? You know, what is this? So I get to show them, hey, this is what we do. This is how it works. Yeah. You know, they work this this many hours and then you, you multiply these hours times this and this is what they make. They're like, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And how do you get that? You know, okay, then we got to create an invoice and then we got to send this invoice. And they're like, wow, you know, and so they're they're learning, you know. You don't think they're learning, but they're listening, Yeah. you know. You know, their their attention span right nowadays is probably like shoot seven to ten seconds maybe, but still, yeah. you know, they're, they're retaining some information. Yeah. So it's, and it's kind of cool because you don't really think about that kind of stuff. Right. You know, the kids are coming in there asking, "How was work?" You know, or mm-hmm. "Who's out there today?" You know, and they're like, "Oh, that's cool. I can't wait till I'm out there." Yeah. You know, and that's a big thing too. Yeah. And like with with the work in 2025, a lot of the kids are like, "Man, I'm gonna be." I'm going to be 16 or 17. How long are they going to be out there? You know? Yeah. Oh, so like the 2028, which is crazy to even say, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going to be 18. I can be out there. Yep. Yeah. You know? And so it's something for them to look forward to, you know, but they're, they're seeing, and the other thing is they're seeing their uncles do it. Right. You know? Right. Their uncles are like, yeah, you know, and, and like I say, we're getting older, Well, we're not old. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like, but we are older, you yeah. know, so so there's always the elders and there's the olders, you know, they always mm-hmm. say that, you know, and we're getting into the olders. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but all the kids, you know, they, they're, they're understanding what's happening, mm-hmm. you know, and they see, you know, okay, who shows up and, you know, and, and they even know, and they're little crabbits, you know. Yeah. Oh, I know. I heard they didn't show up. Like, what are you talking about? You know, yeah. you're seven years old. What are you talking about? <laughs> you crabbits in about that, you know. I heard this and I heard that. It's mm-hmm. like, you know what? It's just, it's, it, don't worry about it, Pop. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's all good, you know. It's funny because the the term you use, like when I was in Arizona, I think I used it before. I used Kravitz, and people people didn't know that it was. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that, dude, doesn't that mean? I go, no. And so I had to explain, like, well, you know, it's it's an old movie, an old show, Mr. Ed, <laughs> and the guy, the lady was with Kravitz, just get, get everybody's business, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Over there in Arizona, he's like, hey, I am damn Kravitz, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the workers that come out here and work with us, so yeah. we, we go out there and. They love it out here, all of them, yeah. you know, because because we crack jokes like this yeah. all the time. And uh, one of the guys goes, "Man, I'm just gonna miss the way you guys, you know, the way you guys speak. You know, He's like <laughs> you guys have nicknames for everything. Yeah. You know, it's like and you, your name of this, your name of this, and so we're trying to figure out. You know, <laughs> we go back to our hotel. What were they talking about? You know, yeah. And so they're like, but you guys laugh about everything, and you know, and it's just it's just a great work environment. But ultimately, I mean, what 
we want them to do is we want them to do the work. Mm-hmm. We're not here to stop them. We're not, you know, yeah. if there's a cultural resource that's in their way. You know what? Stop work. Let us grab it. Let us document it. Get it out of the way. Then continue to work because right. we want this cleaned. Yeah, that's 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 the number one priority of everything. We need this crap cleaned up. It's been around for too long. Um, everybody's dragged their feet. And now we have money to do it. So, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to you know get get this be out there with them because there might be a delay if you're not out there. Right, right. Yeah, and that's the thing, like like we tell them, and, and that's the greatest thing with starting your nonprofit is, mm. you know, and, I, and we were talking about the other day, too. It's, uh, you know, they're, t- oh, that's above my pay grade. You know what? Well, we are the pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So there, you don't go beyond us. It's like, Right. Let's 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 decide who who's your decision maker. Let's get him on the phone. Let's decide this right now. Let, mm-hmm. let, let's get it going. We don't need to get on five or six, you know, conference calls just just to do nothing. Right. You know, who can make the decision? Speak with us and then we can go. We can go from there and get this stuff done. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy how they took us off that island and brought us here on this toxic area with I mean, we would have been on an island. We would have been away from all that toxic stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's, 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 yeah. If, if, I mean, they had, they saw the dirt and they're like, Hey, there's dirt there. You know, let's just do this. But you know, yeah. Just like anything, you know, (laughs) we got to overcome something like that. Yeah. And then our grandfather, like my grandfather, in Arizona and our grandfather here, everybody worked in a mine. Everybody. I mean, that's where the only jobs they had. That was, yeah. Yeah, and so, I mean, they, you know, my, my grandfather on that side passed away early. Your, our grandfather on this side passed away early. Yeah. So a lot of them had been in there, you know, in, in the mines and worked and did stuff like that. Oh, yeah, mine out here and there was a mine out towards Cash Creek. And my dad used to say that, you know, they would go to work and they would have a bird in a birdcage and they would put it down into the well. And if the bird came up and it was alive, then they would work. And if it came up and it was dead, then they wouldn't work that day. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> that was crazy. It. I know. So uh. it's like, yeah. And so I'm sure all, you know, the the cancers happen. And, and that's just something that nobody even knew, you know, what, what was going on. But there mm-hmm. was cancers and, you know, lungs and, you know, everything. So that's what, that's, what the, that's what the mind brought to all those people. Yeah. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Remember how we were talking about a lot of things that happened here on this in this area, you know, like and spiritual wise, is like, man, all these uh when they first started, they brought, you know, this this company, they brought uh a bunch of uh, immigrants from China here. Right, right. And they worked in the mine right. with nothing and a lot of them died down there. Oh yeah. You Remember know? that cave that we used to always go down <laughs> yeah. there? Hey, go ahead, go farther. You, yeah. know, you can hear them speaking down there. Yeah, I mean there's so many things down there and you dealing with that spiritually then you're dealing with the land being, you know, toxic at the same time. There's oh, yeah. just a lot of things going on in this little area. Oh yeah. So with our our very first day when they came out, so we we went out there the first day and we told them that because you have the health and safety meeting, you know, there's there's rocks, there's this, there's that, you know, there's animals, there's bears, there's mm-hmm. mountain lions, you know. Right. And so of course, you know, we came out with hey, well, there are things that you can't see that's gonna hurt you too, yeah. you know. So and so that's what we told the EPA from the beginning. Once you dig into the soil, you're, you're creating whatever energy is in that, you're releasing it. Right. You know, and we're not saying that it's always good, you mm-hmm. know. So that's why we need to know what you're doing, why you're doing it, and where you're going to be doing it. Because if it's anywhere near a site, you're, no, you're not even going to yeah. that thing, you know. Because, you know, our great, 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 great grandparents, you know, they might be freaking pissed off, you <laughs> yeah. know, you freaking mess, you know, yeah. you, you, you touched their frying pan for way back in the day, you know, they're going to be following you and, yeah. you know, and so there is energy out there, right? you know, and as native people, we feel it, right? you know, some of us, you know, are, are, are higher level to where you can see operations or you can speak to people, but we all feel the energy, yeah. you know, and so we know, hey, let's, let's go. You know, we, we don't need to be here. Something doesn't want us here. So let's just not push it. Right. You know, but then you have all these freaking ghost shows. Hey, let's go find a ghost. You yeah. know, it's like, <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. Nah. You know, don't even do that because the energy's out here. And like you said, so not only just that and, and just the toxicity of the stuff in the ground out here, there's a lot going on, man. It's like, it's, it's a 24 seven when 
they started to work it was just the energy was it was it was it was messed up it it, it was mm-hmm. you know i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it was messed up right and then but it's us continuing going out there and being present because whatever is there to like okay i know him i know her i know their family okay. yeah if they're here okay then i won't you know I'll back off a little bit. Right. You know, but that's how I said, there always should be a monitor with you at all times. Mm. Oh, well, we're not doing well. There should be a monitor with you at all times. Right. You know, we have the medicine, we know what to do Mm. and it, it helps them, you know, and the only thing with that too, it's like, how do we build that, man? You know, (laughs) how can we build that? What, you know, what is that? You know, is, is that because you're helping them too, you know? And so it's just, um, I think, uh, brother Eek said it was intellectual, rights or something like that right. you know? yeah right. yeah so i was like oh i like that you know? <laughs> yeah so it's something that we can offer you know that you know that and they know it too right they, they'll they'll feel comfortable with you walking out there knowing that okay he knows the area yeah and and that's you know only a non-native could do that like would i go into another reservation and start digging heck, heck no, no. <laughs> heck yeah, no. no i ain't touching nothing I ain't i'm nothing. not grabbing no. anything or nothing no. no way i'm only going to casino <laughs> that's it man <laughs> Like, I ain't digging nothing up, man. Yeah, I'm not going to anybody's land to no, dig something up. Never. And that's never. something that, you know, they that only non natives can do, you know? Yeah. Like, shoot. Never. I ain't doing that at all. Yeah. And that's why it, I give it out to the arcs, man. The, <laughs> the arcs that we worked out with here yeah. are, are awesome. Yeah. You know? And they're cool. They, they're very respectful. Um, they know the law, which is which is major, major mm-hmm. thing. And they're not trying to break the law. Right. You know? And they they ask us, you know, if, if things are okay, and then we're like, yeah, and then so it's 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 a really good working um, relationship out there right now with the archaeologists. Yeah, we've all had a good relation with the archaeologists, you know, um, the ones that we have now. Um, there are some that you know a long time ago that that took stuff and oh, took it to yeah. the museum. Oh yeah. But you know, there's that now is a lot different. You know. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's and that the only unfortunate thing with that is it's a lot of that stuff we can't get back. Right. You know, and so that was a major thing too. Here, it's like, okay, well, you're not gonna archaeologists aren't gonna come in and say, okay, we found this and we're gonna put our name on this. You know, yeah, it's like, no, that's not happening. Right. So all the resources out here get put in our possession. You okay. Know? So if something is gonna be in the way of the work, uh-huh. we will take it and go ahead to do your work, and then we will do whatever we need to do with after it. But if they're in an area that's not going to be any soil or dirt moving, then we'll just put it back. Okay. Know? So they'll so like behind the mines, they were they were more this way, and um, they're not going to do anything with that area. Mm-hmm. So they found a couple, you know, of of flakes, and we're like, just put them back. Right. You know. But out in actually the some of the hazardous waste, there was stuff for like, okay, we're going to take this because all that dirt's going to be moved. Right. And then once all that dirt's removed, then we have the stuff here, then we will do with whatever we need to do with it after that. So whatever they're not going to do anything with, just leave it there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then all the other stuff, you know, we, we have, um, so we have in our possession and then once all that work is done, then we can put it back. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. And that's something that, you know, and like I said, if we didn't, um, actually Pi Pi's the one, he fought for that. Yeah, you know, he's like, no, all this stuff needs to go to us. And they're like, no, 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 no. And he said, nope, it all goes, and it all needs to go to us. Right. You know, and it's conversations like that. If you're not like that with them, then they're just gonna, you know, they Take would, it. they would have took it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, and he was like, no, you need to put this in here, and everything with them, and it just like everything nowadays, it's documentation, documentation, mm-hmm. documentation. You know, mm-hmm. so they put it in their document, and that's what it is, and so. Um, someone says something like, no, nope, it's right here. Right. You know? And so it, it gets put in our possession and then we do primaries on it. And so we have a bunch of the information that, that we have on every, uh, cultural resource that we get. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. Yeah. And I'm glad that, you know, I'll, well, we get a lot of natives and sometimes I, I'm a big talker too. Yeah. I'm going to start a nonprofit. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do this and do that. So w- when I came to uh, this weekend and seen your, all your hard hats and your vests and all, <laughs> all this stuff here, I'm like, damn, Mike really did do it. You know? And so I was, you know, it's cool to see you actually, you know, yeah, a lot yeah. of people talk about it, but no oh, one actually absolutely. gets it done. Absolutely. So to see you get all your stuff here and everything. And I was like, Oh hell yeah, this is, this is going to work, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. I, you know, I appreciate you yeah. noticing it, man. It's, you yeah. know, it's cool because, uh, it's, it's just one of those things, you know, we, we've, 
we've worked for a long time, right. you know, and, and in jobs, they never tell you good job. You right. know, it's always, <laughs> hey, you're late or, yeah. you know, you're, freaking, you're not doing your work right or, yeah. you know. But I mean, but we probably were late. But yeah. you know, but still, it's like, probably come not. on, exactly, yeah, yeah. in time, but yeah, I know, you know. exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, I thought eight o'clock meant ten, you know. Yeah. But it's never like you're doing a great job, you know. It's everything like that, yeah. and so like, like even like that, I was like, cool, man. He does notice, you yeah. know. Everything's laying around, you know. Yeah. But it's still, and like there are people like you know, and we talk, you know, we you can give somebody all the hours, you can pay him all the money, and all, and then mm-hmm. it's always something, you right. know, because. Not everybody's gonna be happy. Yeah. Well. Well. The the thing with that is that's what they're used to. Yeah. You know, they're used to chaos. They're used to mm-hmm. something. And when it's too good, it's like, ugh, you know. Yeah. Like the freaking Ricky Bobby movie. Remember his dad? You yeah. Know? <laughs> Applebee's. You yeah. Know? Hey, I'd say they want onions. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. You know? it's Start like, a fight. Yeah. Onions. It's 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 going too good. You yeah. know. And so and that's just how people are. You know, they're like, my like, man, you got all you got more days than everybody and. But you're still complaining, you yeah. know, and, and it's just and it's just one of those things. It's like, okay, well, yeah. that's, and that's just what it is. And 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 the the thing without here is they're all relatives. Yeah. So we know who's gonna do what. Right. We know who's gonna be quiet. We know who's gonna be loud. And and it's just like you know a game, just like basketball. You know, you better you better go in knowing your opponent. Yeah. You know, if you know what they do, okay, that's that, right. we knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. You know. So knowing that with with our relatives, it, it makes it easier, you know. Mm-hmm. And then of course with you know, being in this with our brothers, you know, it's 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 fun, you know. Yeah. But, and they know too. I'm like, hey, what about this? And it's just, it's kind of cool having the business conversations, you know, instead yeah. of just having you know just the the regular conversations. And but it's always it always ends up we're laughing about something, right? You know. And so and it, and it's fun in that way. Well, we only get to see each other during ceremonies. Now you get to see him. Oh work, yeah! Oh know, yeah! Man. Yeah! So that that's also good to yeah. see them back. Oh yeah! And it and it, and it's just funny because they're like, "Damn, you know how to do that?" Like, yeah, this is what <laughs> I've been doing the whole time. Remember when I was off the E? You know, this yeah. is what I used to do. And so, and, you know, like we said before, it's just one of those things to where I was in the right place at the right time to actually do it. Yeah. And actually, when we were speaking with the EPA, they're like, "Hey, you know, we, this this would work. This would work. This would work." And I'm like, "Okay, cool." Mm-hmm. And then a couple of weeks later, I'm like, all right, we got it. And they're like, crap, you already got it done? I'm like, yeah, that's what yeah. you said you needed to be done. Right. They're like, oh, well, well we didn't know it was going to be that fast, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, okay, yeah, we're we're serious. And that was the thing. We're serious about this. Right. You know, we we, we want to be in this. We are the community. We we need to be in this. Yeah. And so when they saw that, they're like, okay, all right, these these guys are legit. Yeah. Because um, people always will be like, if you start it real quick and get it done, then other people be like, damn, I was going to do that. Right. But you didn't. So right. I, I got this now. You know what I mean? Right. And, and it's, it's, you got to get it done. If you're going to say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. That's, that's what I said. When I got here and I saw your stuff, like, damn, he really did get that non <laughs> start. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and we got it. I'm, I want to say, I mean, shoot, we started in, I want to say March. Mm-hmm. Um, started having conversations with them. And then, shoot, I mean, work started out here in August. Right. You know, by, by July, I think in June. Um, so region, in the EPA, we are in region nine. Mm-hmm. So region nine, Marta Guzman is the, the head of region nine. So I think she came and saw us, I think in June. Um, I think early June. But yeah, so we got it done before that. And then we were qualified. I mean, we got all the paperwork done. I mean, it was tons of paperwork though. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just, and that's the thing. It's just. That's what, like what do paperwork. Yeah, that's what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, hey, I'm gonna do this, and then you're like, holy crap, I'm gonna yeah. do all, you know? Yeah. And so, and and that's like, you know, with the cast and pine, you're like, damn, you gotta do that. I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they'd come here, and they'd be on you know, these stacks of you know paperwork. And they're like, what's? I'm like, that's what I'm fizzling out. They're like, what? Yeah. You can't do it. No, I can't do some of this online. You know, some yeah. of you gotta you gotta write it out. But most of it was online. But it it's a lot. It's mm-hmm. a lot. But once all that's done, then it becomes easier. And I think that's what they do. They're like, hey, you know, we're going to give them 500 pages of paperwork just to see, yeah. you know, see if they can get through it. And then once you get through it, then it's like, you know, OK, we got through it. OK, now now it's now the process is pretty easy. Oh, I qualify for that. Oh, I qualify for that. Oh, we qualify for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, we qualify for that, too. Right. You know, so the thing with, with us is being a nonprofit on the res. First yeah. of all, that's one thing, you know. 
So we're indigenous, we're native, whatever they, you know, whatever label they want to say, yeah. we check all those boxes, mm -hmm. you know. Minority owned, we check mm -hmm. that box. Yeah. Uh, underserved, we check that box, right. you know. So every single thing that's out there, we pretty much check that box on. Yeah. And I notice, uh, I always hear people have grants for like, um, oh, I got a grant to do a drum class. Oh, I got a grant to do this. I mean, you got a grant to pay people. Right. I mean, to, to help people in their community and the families. Right. I mean, there's a lot of um, grants that people use. It's just for you know, a beating class right. or, you know, something like that. They help people learn how to do cultural activities. But still, who's going to put food on the table? I mean, right. so your grant's pretty good, you know, to see you yeah. paying um, the community member or the child members and have them do their monitoring. And right. Put right. food on the table also. The contract that we signed was based on getting money in the community right so that was the that was the the top goal was to get money in the community okay that was our that was our focus let's get money in the community mm -hmm. then we decided okay to get money in the community um let's create jobs right and so the way we created jobs is we got the hazwopper training hey listen we have a training if you take this training we'll give you a job so they all showed up they all got the training we gave them a job mm -hmm. so once they got out the job they went out there and they worked and then we paid them and so, yeah, so it put food on the table. And I think with all the other grants that you're kind of talking about is a lot of that stuff is, okay, let's, um, let's make yellow hammers, you know, let's yeah. get a $10,000 grant for that. You know, have somebody write, write me, you know, how much does it cost? And it's going to cost $500 to it, but we're going to get a $10,000 grant, but we're only going to pay $500 for it. You know, it's like $9,500, <laughs> you know, yeah. where the heck did that go? Yeah. You know? And so out here, you know, it's just, we're just trying to pump money out i mean right. because we there there has nothing been coming in so it's like the more money that we can get the more money that we can give out the better it is for everybody mm -hmm. that's good because like i said you're always the first one to see paying people and i thought oh man that's pretty good to get that out there and and like i said that's more important right now the land and and water you know and things like that instead of you know i think that all the stuff is good you know drum class being class right you know regard, right that's cool but we're also trying to clean up our area. Oh, you know? absolutely, so. absolutely. And 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 out here, I mean, I don't know about like we're talking about. I don't know about any other res. I know about our res. You know, <laughs> yeah. we got a lot of freaking trash, man. You yeah. know, it's like so. Like one of the 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 one of my ideas was like, you know what? If we get surplus money, let's just get big ass garbage bit dumps out here. You know, mm -hmm. just put one in the center. You know, like right across the street, right there, and just yeah. hey, you know, just you guys got a week to fill this thing up. Mm -hmm. You know, like at ceremony, after these guys leave, that that dump there is gonna be filled up. Right. It's gonna be like ten feet over the top. Yeah, you know? gonna see it. Oh There's yeah, room staff. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And so you know, just just to get here because people try to keep their front yards clean, mm -hmm. um, but most of the trash is in the back. Right. You know, and so if you see a dumpster out there, especially me, I'm throwing freaking trash in that thing. Yeah. You know, because I know that all I have to do is I just got to take it right there. Right. You know, I don't got to, because, you know, the dumps over here is in Clear Lake. Yeah. You know, so you got to load it up. You got to load up your trailer. You got to take it out there. You got to pay a fee. But if there's a big dump dumpster here that we can get people, yeah. we can do that, you know, weekly or monthly or, or it doesn't matter when. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to help the community just, just, to, just to clean up the yeah. place, you know. Right. And it's just, it's just going to take them just to take it that far and just to throw it in there. Yeah. You know, and everybody can do that. You know, there's enough trucks around here that people can just drive around and say, Hey, do you need, you know, throw some trash in there? And because that's what we do with up there. There's a, there's, you know, we know we see a bunch of, uh, a truck driving like, Hey, I got a couple of bags on here. And <laughs> yeah. then they go up there, you know, they just, they just throw it in, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think all reservations are like that. I mean, even in St. Carlos, there's not a really good trash system over there. You have, oh, you have really? to, you have to dump your stuff. And, mm. and that's why it's the same thing. You know, you, it's not because we're trash is we we don't have the right. the you know capability of dumping trash or it costs the money or any, things like that. So oh, we were talking about earlier with the pizza boxes. Yeah, you know, like what you can't throw a pizza box into the to, to the cardboard. Yeah, it's like cool. what the what kind yeah. of stupid law is that? You know, you get a fine for putting. That I know, pizza seriously, yeah. And it's like I'm trying to help out. You know, I'm yeah. like trying to throw it outside, and now you're saying they can't do this. And so, yeah. but yeah, so I mean, but but like stuff with like with pizza boxes, I yeah. burn. You know, I'm at the res. I burn it. You know, yeah. it's it's just like. You're not going to let me throw it in there? All right, well, I'm going to burn it. Yeah. You know? So just don't be calling the fire department on me because <laughs> burning my pizza boxes. Like, man, I can't put them in there, you know? Uh, 
yeah there's, there's a lot of law on, on a lot of things right now so but yeah like you're saying the trash here it's just we don't have the capability of put you know putting our trash away yeah so and that's you know and, and like i said that's 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 also that's the extra part of it and then like also out here they're like fixing homes mm-hmm. you know we don't you know we apply for money oh you he doesn't qualify for this he doesn't qualify for this he doesn't qualify for this you know what let's create a nonprofit and surplus money we can get trash and we can help people fix their house yeah you know right and hey you know like the, the the toilet you know like most like most of the homes that came in in 06 they all have the same issues um the back toilet the 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 faucet the kitchen faucet the front door um they all have issues you know right. we can get it we can get a cost for those and if we have a surplus we can go fix those mm-hmm. you know instead of going out and asking people we're going to create it ourselves right you know and we can eventually if we can be self-sustaining with all of that you mm-hmm. know then it, it's like hey and then somebody's going to be you know like maybe one year old tip and they're like damn they could do it well we can do that too right you know right and that's the thing i tell everybody so a lot of times we go up here and we said, you know, this is about community. And so the biggest thing when it first started, oh, community. Well, that's that's us. That's our that's our nonprofit. Yeah. No, it's no, it's not. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 community based, yeah. but it's not. And so we had a meeting up there, and it was funny because I go, listen, it's it's community based, but it's not everybody's. I said, if you want a nonprofit, I said, let me know. I will do your paperwork. Yeah. I will pay your fee. You know, if you want to do all the paperwork, I I will do that for you. I said, but this 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 Buckeye Tribal Visions is for the resident. It is community based, but it's not yours. Yeah. You know, it's it it it's it's there are, there are rules. There's directors. There's officers. You know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I said, listen, if you want to start one, I will start it for you. Yeah. And crickets after that. You I, know, I bet a lot of them think, oh, he must use my name as community, and now he got his money. You know what I mean? No, right. he didn't. No, that's not no. how. That's not how nonprofit starts. No, it's not. It's um, not at all. Mm-hmm. But we have we have the ability to go out now and, and, and get grants to help people. Right. You know, and like you said, it's an open book. You know, you want to look at something then you you can look at it. You know? Yeah. It's it's that's just what it is. Not nothing's hidden. Yeah. It's it's that's that's how the, that's how they're built. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, with for profits there there are different rules. Mm-hmm. You know, but but with here it's just but and that's the only thing with this too, it's like the people that would look or are, are trying to find something to be like, oh, you did this wrong, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Because most of the time it's just, you know, it, it's like you said, it, it's everybody's not happy. Yeah. You know? it's yeah just, not, not everybody's going to be happy. There's always going to be somebody, yeah. you know, there's, there, there's, you know, but they say, you know, haters are good because, you know, you're doing something good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's just, it's, it's money into the community, which in our case is the res, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we base it on houses, so this house got this amount, this house got this amount, this house got this amount. And like you said here, you know, we don't have freaking mortgages. We don't have, you know, property tax. We don't, yeah. we don't have all that stuff. Homeowners, so, association. Homeowners association, you know. Mm-hmm. So the money in there is actually pure money that goes directly to that. Right. And then eventually, even if we need to help with water bills or, or electric bills, and we can do that too, you know. But right now, the, the, the focus was to put money in houses um, and households, I mean, they, they got, they got money, mm-hmm. you know? So, and so check the box, that first box off, you know? Yeah. So, but it, and it, and it's fun. You know, like I said, it, 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 it's fun. It's, it's long hours. You know, I work, um, we check people in, Pi checks people in, you know, he'll text me if somebody doesn't show. So I'll create, you know, I'll call somebody else to get somebody else out there. Right. So all day, and then we're doing conference calls all day. Mm-hmm. I get the dailies at five o'clock. So I'm usually doing dailies till eight or nine o'clock at night, you know, so mm-hmm. I'm doing this information and then I give it to pie in the morning and then it just starts all over. That's so good. it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a probably like a 12 hour day, mm-hmm. most days, you know? Yeah. And it's just, but it's worth it to me, mm-hmm. you know, it's worth it to me to see that we're helping the community Mm -hmm. where we haven't gotten the help before right you know so i'll sit here for 12 hours and i'll argue with whoever i gotta argue with you know Mm -hmm. it's like to 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 argue for my people and to to give them the money that that actually we should have been getting a long time ago you know and to say hey look we can do this you all can do this and hopefully down the line 
you know, one of our nephews or nieces would be like, hey, uncle, can you help me with this? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and they'll start something and they'll go their way and then we'll just branch out with everything. It's just a good way to show, um, you know, like my uncle wants uh, you know, if the, if the tribe doesn't help, you don't have to wait for the tribe no. to help. You can just start it yourself. Exactly. And, you know, like with him, he, has, he started his Apache Stronghold. Same with you. You start this. Right. If the tribe is not going to uh, help, then yeah, I'm starting my own thing to help. Absolutely. And help the land. You yeah. know, and so I think that's all. I think everybody should learn from that. Hopefully people in this community will see what you did. Right. And try to do the same thing for their community. And I think hopefully it, it you know, it, it keeps going. Well, and the thing about it is... Not, I mean, not just for reservations, of course, and that's what we're talking about, but community just like in the Oaks or in Clear Lake, they can do something for their community. Right. You know, it's the same thing. You can start a nonprofit and, and there's help out there. Right. You can start it. it. It's just maintaining it. Starting something is easy, but maintaining it, that, that, that's the issue. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have great ideas. I mean, there's thousands of ideas out there right now. But are you going to take that idea to the end? Right. You know, he, I, I, I want to do this. I want to do this. And you start it. And then it just always stops about right here. You know, mm -hmm. we never go all the way through with the idea. Right. But we did it and we're going with it and we're running with it, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, good, man. It's like, we're <laughs> see all this stuff in here. Yeah. It looks good. I've seen the payroll checks. Yeah, man. Everything yeah. looks legit and everything's looking good. Yeah. Everything checks off. And the best thing about it is everything balances, man. Like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you come check my books. Exactly. The zero. books are right here, man. It's like zero yeah. uh, zeros. I'll say, yeah, we got a million, we got a million dollar uh, corporation. They're like, what? I go six zeros. They're all really? I'm like, yeah, they're all zeros. <laughs> Uh, well, that's good, Michael. Well, I'll, I'll come back and then we'll get an update on what your podcast is doing. I mean, your, your, uh, nonprofit is doing, thank you all and we'll for get on the podcast the and talk about more about it. Podcast. Absolutely, because man. This is good. And, uh, general, yeah, you can thank do you. Follow Buckeye the social media account, the Instagram here, account. And, uh, we're here to stay guys. Again, all right. Well, thanks for four, listening and thanks Mike for the conversation, man. Yeah. If you guys have any questions for us or you guys would like to be on the podcast in the Instagram, there's a link. Go ahead and click that. No matter what kind of platform you guys listen to this podcast on, there's always that plus or that follow button. So go ahead and click that so you guys can get notifications when we upload our next episode. And if you guys are listening on Spotify, what you can do is go ahead and rate the show. And if you guys are only listening on Apple Podcasts, what you can also do is write a review for the show. Thank you all for tuning in to the Fight for Existence podcast, and we will talk to you next time.